What's up, boys? Ben Jammin that watches my channel. He sent me this picture, and he took advantage of that Milwaukee sale like I did. Man, super cool stuff. You'll see some action of it here in this video. Sweet. So what's up guys? So here's the setup we're running. Got my rig bungeed up there. Uh yeah. Just walk them over, flip it up, put a strap on a little D-ring down there just to kind of keep everything secure. And uh check it out. The new Milwaukee with the articulating head trimmer fits on the rack fine. Um yeah. So I'll I'll get you some footage of that at the next yard. But um Man, look how nice my truck looks. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but man, I washed it last week or something, which I've already drove through a rainstorm, so it's already gotten dirty somewhat again, but man, it just makes me feel good when you got your truck clean, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we've been having a lot of rain, a lot of thunderstorms, not quite tornado like it was down that last, uh, one of my last other videos, but you know still some sticks coming down but anyway yeah i'm gonna get y'all some footage at the next yard we'll keep moving thing is so nice you know no hearing guards needed or anything Alright guys, this is a very big shrub. Uh, you can't tell on camera, but you know when I walk up close to it, I mean it's over my head. And so you can kind of reach up the top, but you can't see what you're doing, you know, 
when you're trying to reach over it. Yeah, but man, this hedge trimmer works great. You can reach all, pretty much all of it and then tilt it and get a little bit and then go to the other side. It's kind of tight back there and try to get the stuff you can't get, but man, it's, it works awesome. It's the very best way I've found to trim hedges and I've trimmed hedges. There's, there's one lady um, and she's got like hundreds of bushes. Y'all seen it. I've filmed the yard before. Hundreds of these big glory pelms. And I trimmed all the ones down front. Probably like 30, 40 of these big bushes. You know, they're not quite as tall as that. But just a whole bunch of, you know, round ones just all along the street. And I did all those. And like 10 shrubs at the neighbor's house across the street. So I did that yard as well. And... You know, I've been trimming a bunch of other shrubs and stuff, and the battery is still on four. It might be on three now, I don't know, because I still haven't uh, charged it, you know, and I've been using it, so let me see. It's on three now, but like I said, I've been using it a whole bunch, and I've only used one cell battery, so yeah. Those bushes were wet because it's been raining last night. It rained all night. So I don't like getting this bar all wet, but because you know it kind of it seems it seems like when you get the bar wet that it kind of like cuts down. You know, it seems like it kind of harms the grease in there, like kind of cuts down the grease a little bit. So, but that's nothing to do with this hedge trimmer. That's just all hedge trimmer. So I have to uh, make sure I keep this thing greased at least once a month too, just like my other hedge trimmer. Right, boys so let's talk about both the mowers in my enclosed trailer you know it fits fine and um you know i i use this snapper in a bunch of yards you know off camera today that are you know rough yards or whatever as you can see this is a rough patch up here by the road since i had to move it out of the way in the trailer anyway might as well come mow it with this mower you know it's just weeds it's hard to tell on camera it's sticking all up so mowing this little you know just a little rough patch but anyway so it really comes in handy having the walker and this in your trailer like walker for the nice lawns and then you know having this for you know some some nice lawns and some other lawns so it, it's really i really like having both well and the other reason is i'm trying to keep from running up a million hours on the walker too because i really want to keep it for a long time just to mainly use on the you know, on the days when I have my real, real nice lawns, you know, certain days like Wednesday and there are other days too where I just, you know, mainly use that. And then a lot of the other days I take some others. This is the spot where this cut, where this customer keeps the trash can. So, um, I always get the trash can if it's up at the road and I uh, usually I bring it down to people's garage, you know, in their normal driveways, but that's where he keeps it. So, down here, mowing it up, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, 
this is doing great. So anyway, so you can keep you can put both mowers in the trailer. Um, see, look at this. There's so much rain lately. There's water in this creek just coming from the lots around and come from up. There's no like water on, but it's just like running down. It's doing that at a bunch of yards. Um, but anyway, yeah, the weight wise, this mower is about is 420 plus the deck is a couple hundred. So I'm right at, you know, 650 or something. The snapper is 700, so that's, you know, 1400. And then um, the trailer is like a thousand, but minus the axle, because the axle is just sitting on the ground. So, you know, we're looking at, you know, 2500 or something with that, and then plus some weed eaters and stuff in there. And it's a 3500 pound axle, so technically still good you know on the trailer um really you know as far as weight wise you know you're getting kind of close because you're getting up to the three thousand pounds probably with the trimmer racks and this and that um but probably not you know i'm probably still just under that so i'm a few hundred pounds less than max um so it can work you know even on a single axle trailer and um you know, I don't know that I like dragging around two mowers. I don't know that, you know, take two mowers every day and all that. But it does work, and you can do it, so. Boys, we got a package. Open it up. Mm. Should have been better. Should have grabbed a knife out of my toolbox. So trying to use this key, but... Ain't letting that stop us. I got a toolbox back there, but hey, I'm already filming now. Oh goodness. Look at this. Oh man, that is so lit right there. Since 1977. Wow. That is awesome. It's not aware of that. What else? Oh man. Check it out, boys. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! That's incredible. You see, like, the the star parts of that flag are, like, a bunch of walker mowers. And it has walker on the sleeve. That ain't all, either. Thank you for being our customer. Tony, thank you for being a walker customer. Enjoy your new R21. Sincerely, the walker team. Handwritten right there. What else? Oh man, this is so awesome. Look at this. Boom. You know what? I'm gonna put one of these on my pickup truck. Actually, this is not a sticker. This is a magnet right here. Awesome, awesome. Super awesome, man. Walker Mowers, what a great company. They just They've seen some of my videos about the new Walker R21. They're like, hey, we want to send you a couple things. I'm like, okay. So, gave them my address. And uh, that's what showed up. So, man, what a great company. You know, great group of folks over there. Small company of Walker mowers. Oh, man. They even, um, they even called me personally called me and like hey thanks for you know thanks for the videos you're making thanks for for uh, buying the walker r21 and all that and uh man so cool so cool you know hopefully those guys and you guys and all of us hopefully we can all meet up at the expo you know if everything goes good but uh yeah let's get on to my next yard my next yard is my favorite yard to mow and I'm going to eat my sandwich on the way driving over there. So let's get to it. Want to give a shout out to my friend over at the King's Courtyard. Um, Lawn Care Service is what his channel's called. I'll try to put a link down in the description below. Actually, buddy, King's Courtyard, how about you comment? And that way, uh, 
people can click on your on your little emblem and go check out your channel. He's been making some great lawn care vlogs lately, which I like watching those, just like a lot of you guys do. So that's awesome. He also has a Bradley stand on mower, which has always, you know, intrigued me. And um, just like my man at Upscale Lawn Care, he has a Bradley mower as well. So y'all be sure to check out both those channels. But uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to the King's Courtyard Lawn Care Service. Let's keep going. All right, boys, we're here at my favorite yard. Um, y'all comment below. Let me know if you guys have a favorite yard that you like to cut. Now, sometimes I cut with this. Sometimes I cut it with the 30-inch. Real nice grass out front. Um, you know, some shrubs and stuff around the house. Big natural area in the back that I keep it, uh, you know, we do weed control and stuff. Um... Y'all remember, y'all? I showed this on video in, in um, winter when we were cutting all those uh, things that so you see those grass. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, it's just my favorite yard. I don't know why. I guess because it's it, you can see it's pretty flat. It has a little dip over there in that side where I'm at, but pretty flat, which I really like. And you know, it's pretty easy because like I said, it's kind of a pie-shaped lot. So it's kind of wide up here at the front. kind of gets a little skinnier in the back and it's just like pine straw area. So I got to just keep sticks picked up and um you know pull some weeds and stuff and blow off the back porch and stuff and mainly that's it so you know it's a great yard i don't know why it's just my favorite yard so i'm curious if y'all have a favorite yard y'all comment below <laughs> well it's funny because y'all can see it on the camera the customer coming out and it's like having problems with uh, squirrels um going up in the house and let me come over here and show you. There's see, here's a shrub. It looks like a tree. It's right in front of me right now. There's one on the both corners of the house right there. The only thing that's really close to the house. So unless it's a flying squirrel that's flying out of one of those big trees, um, then it has to be climbing up these trees. So we're gonna lower them down below like the gutter line and then reshape them um, to try to help with that. So that's she was talking to me about. And I was like showing her, I was like, you could put like some, like wrap some uh, metal around the trunk. I see some customers do that. So like the squirrels can't climb up it, um, but you don't want to do that. We're just going to try to um, go lower with them because she was just talking about she liked how the height they were and stuff. But, but they're having such a problem like with squirrels, like digging in their soffit and everything. Got to do something. And so she's talking about that and talking about the uh, coronavirus and stuff, you know, just stuff that people talk about nowadays <laughs> and uh yeah and then i uh, finally get back to weed eating here try to edge things up trying to whack down a few weeds because uh they got they got another pine straw service Boys, come to put actually out some figured fresh out something pine i didn't know y'all check this out if i put that one backwards and put that one backwards just like that which that wheel is really close but it fits without having to fold up the deck. See, I got there's a couple inches extra. But the deck is heavy, so uh, you know, if I don't have to fold it up every time, it's nice. I gotta get the show out. We gotta go dig up a plant real quick. One good thing about it raining all the time, the ground soft, pretty soft. Ugh. You got your drip tube in here. Thankfully, I think I missed it. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thankfully, I didn't. I didn't destroy it. So, I'm gonna put this back. Keep moving. This uh, this will be the first sticker on the uh, new cooler here. I'm just gonna like put it crazy, just for fun. Look at that, nice first addition there to the new cooler. Thanks, Walker Mowers. Looking good in that hat, buddy. 
So show them our magnet. They put it on the fridge. All right, I'll check it out. Check out that magnet. Oh yeah, River came over here, slapped it on. Looking good. All right, boys. What do you think? It's the after hours new outfit. What do you think? All right, boys, check this out. I didn't realize it at first, but like those are walker mowers and these are like stripes. It's like an American flag, but they're like stripes at the same time. That's cool. Thank you, walker mowers.